Hi friends, welcome back. In the last tutorial, we have learned about the uh, learned about the different connections in the class software, such as the base plate connection and beam to column connections using uh, component catalog. Today, we will learn more about the bracing connections. Uh, before that, I want to finish one more beam to one more beam to column connection in the column website. This here, in this side, we need we didn't do the connection uh, in the last tutorial. We have learned, we have done the connection for beam to column in the beam column flange side. So today we will do the other connection, and after that straightly we can go to bracing connection. So I hope we can finish the bracing connection also today. And in the next tutorial we will start the secondary steel uh, connections such as stairs, handrails, etc. And after that we will go for detailing. And the detailing we can do general arrangement drawings and uh, and the fabrication drawings so we can finish this basic tutorial section so today i will start in the basic uh, in the beam to column connections column connection using component catalog so we can go to controller and here uh, you can see some connections using clip angles so this guy, this uh, this connection we can use for uh, in the current connection here for this area. For this area we can use that clip angle connection. In the it is we will connect to the column web band flange web. You can see here if I go if I select this connection. Let's see how it will come. Select the main part and the secondary part. See, this is the connection coming. I mean, this connection is suitable for this type of beam and column. So just double click on this one. And see the picture here. I think we don't want here. I can mention how much height you want from the top. From the top, I will keep. 30 or 50 we can keep click modify yeah so after that then go to plates and plate on that side uh, here we don't want to do anything stationary we don't require here general punch we don't want to give Let's go to bolt. Bolt we can give if we go below we see we give top modify and here we can give hundred and we can give five bolts with the distance hundred among and here we can give twenty and twenty here also can give 5 with 100 and the bottom we can give 20 click modify so it's coming like this 5 at the bottom it's not ok so we have to adjust there adjusting the plate length here we have We can give modify and uh, here we keep hunter. Okay, this connection is okay, suitable. So we will copy this connection to every other 
left side another beam and color click modify balls everything else if you want you can change the ball size um, currently it's a default size is showing if i put 10 modify or we can modify so it's very small it will be 16 and click modify or 10 d ok 10 d will give and uh, and the secondary primary here also we can give 10 d ok click modify everything else is ok we will go with this one modify ok and modify for go to modify apply and okay so we will select the same connection again and we will do the same connection see the same connection is copied here and like that we can do to every other side click main part and B In part and in part and in. Okay. Okay. Here also we have to connect. Here also we have to connect. That one issue is there. Both side. Okay, it's merged. Now, oh, okay. The connection is okay. See how the connections are done. Okay, and we will copy it in the below themes also. And in the other side also we will do Okay, middle level we have finished this side and both sides we have done. Everywhere we have done finish all the connection in the play this one is remaining.
okay now we have finished all the beam to column connection now we can go for bracing connections uh, this part is finished you can cross check if you want how the connections are done this is how the connections we have done using clip angles uh, okay Okay, now we will go for bracing connection. So for that, I will go to view list. Uh, we can take any of the grid here uh, along grid five. If I take grid along view along grid five, um, you will get view like this. Click Control T, so you will get the section like this. So after that, you can go for a bracing connection, bracing profile. Uh, take a beam tool and take the middle uh, midpoint of the beam and connect to the corner point same way you can select here also and the other side also so and you can select the profiles profile which you would like to select here uh, we can take little bit big profile such as 150 150 by 80, 80 thick click apply ok modify we will select this one also modify apply ok so we have to go to component catalog for uh, selecting racing connection so component catalog and Click here search and you can search here bracing bracing so you can see all the available bracing connections uh, you can click the suitable one for your uh, current connection so bolted gasset this is for high section so many connections are there gasset plate connection we will take one of the suitable one here you can select this we are since we have selected uh, hollow section we can select one of this to crossing or to cassette or here also hollow section pricing is there you can select this one to guess at 20 and come here and uh, follow the command pick main part first pick main part and secondary parts this are the secondary part one here and the second one is here and click the uh, roller button in the mouse so let's see how the connection will come this is the connection appeared now you can see how the bracing connection is created so this is how the connections connection is made so if you want to edit this one click double click on the bracing connection and you can see a dialog box like this and here you can see if you want to enter the data enter the values you can enter here click uh, this angle if you want to change this angle you can give the angle here and the distance here how much you want if you keep 25 and how much depth required for your plate that you can enter here inside the uh, uh, hollow section if i put 150 you will get this plate length of 150 and here you can give 25 between the gusset plate and the uh, hollow section end 
the gap between the hollow section end and the gusset plate you can keep 25 and here this distance also you can keep uh, 25 click modify let's see how much is how it is coming Modified, changed whatever the uh, as per the data ended here it will change accordingly here and the cassette if you want to change anything here you can change now see how there are so many options here if you select anything accordingly it will change if you want any plate to be welded here angled plate you can select like this then it will come like this we don't want to give anything we will uh, the symbol single plate for that you can select this one and click modify so any additional plate we don't require and if you want to move the uh, gusset plate you can select one of option here now uh, if you if you want to move the gusset click if you click this option and click modify how it's going it moved the end end of the planche so we don't want we it's better we will keep it in the center of the planche click this one and click modify so this one is better and like that you can go for bracing connection also if you want to modify anything here now we see how the plate is looking here chapter if you don't want chapter you can select this one so the end will be like this we will go with this chapter option and uh, everything else will keep same if you want to chamfer dimension you can enter here we will go with the default one general stiffness stiffener we don't want to provide any stiffener this connection is okay cassette okay, uh, actually there is no cassette connection you have to come here brace bolt if you want to change the bolt here you can accordingly you can change here if you want uh, this distance to or if you put 3 and 50 see how it is changed the balls here also you can other bracing bolt also you can give like that we, we don't require that much we can keep to 50 that is better okay and here distance if you want to keep more distance you can give here two balls you can give 50 80 one balls also you can give 280 two Okay. You can change as per your requirement. If you want the cassette connection, bracing connection, if you want to give four bolts like this, you give like this. This is not a standard connection, so we will not give like this. We will go with this one. Define. So this much is enough for this connection and we can give the same bracing connection at the end of the, at, the, at this bottom side also, okay, okay, and we will try how it will come at the bottom side, we have selected this one, these two are set to MD, so we will check how it will come at the bottom side, click and select this primary part and secondary part see how it's coming it's clashing with the bottom beam side bottom beam so we will select uh, we have to undo this one and we will we have to move little 100 click 100 and more 
software also will be different. 100 mm more. Move. 500 mm more. Okay, now we will select the same connection again. To the set 20 and select the main part and this one. So now it's not clashing. Now it's okay, the connection is okay. Same way the other side also we can do. Click main part and secondary part and most part and central box part. So see how it's coming. Now this connection is also okay. There's no clashes. Now you can copy this one to every other side and go to model. See this connection how it's how it's done. This is how the bracing connection is doing. Uh, so select if you want to select this to other side, you can select this one. Select all the connection. You can copy. Plan view. The right button. Click copy. Insert from here and uh, here. It's been copied to other side. So we have done with the bracing connection. I hope you have learned how to do the bracing connection. Then go up to the top side also. For that, you want to move this one, select this one also. This one, this connection, so and the front side and move from here. Right button, copy and move from here to other side. See how it's been. So we have finished the bracing connection here. There is uh, there is uh, many types of bracing connections are there. Now we have done only this type. Uh, the same tools we can use. If it is a instead of if it if it is an eye section, you have we have separate bracing connection is there for eye connect eye section. Now I am using hollow section. That's why we have used the tube crossing. Uh, and uh, so I hope we can. Uh, stop this bracing connection here and in this tutorial we will learn more about the secondary parts. Thank you.